Each year, Microsoft Research hosts hundreds of influential speakers from around the world, including leading scientists, renowned experts in technology, book authors, and leading academics, and makes videos of these lectures freely available. So thank you all for coming. Um, it's a pleasure to be here, and today we will be talking about the status of women in computing in Latin America and what we can do to change the current scenario. Um, at Microsoft Research, we have various initiatives about uh, fostering the participation of women in computing, and I work with Rain Johnson. She actually leads our worldwide initiatives um, to encourage women's participation in the IT. Uh, she partners with many organizations like uh, the National Center for Women in Technology, CRAW, Anita Borgi Institute, uh, in various programs to understand what the status of women in technology is and to encourage this participation. And here in Latin America, I've been working for since 2008 during the faculty summit. We organized a workshop and brought together uh, thought leaders to discuss what the status is and what we can do to, to change it, to drive action. Uh, in addition to that, I work in projects with researchers in Brazil in climate change, biodiversity, bioenergy, in which computing is uh, a very compo key component to accelerate or enable the research. And just to contextualize, in, in the U.S. in particular, women is, and this is data from 2009, women is 58% of the workforce. But when you look at the computing workforce, women uh, represents only 25% of the total workforce. And when you look at the more senior positions at the IT industry, then uh, only 11% of the corporate officer positions at for Fortune 500 technology companies are held by women. Um, and this is in the US. So what we've been trying to do is to understand what is the status in Latin America, because we feel really strongly uh, that gender diversity is very important. Um, and, and there are a variety of reasons I could go um, and talk about why gender diversity is important, but I'm only gonna mention a few because we only have so much time. So gender balanced teams are more experimental and more efficient. They produce more innovation. And there are several studies uh, proving this point. There is a particular studies, a study about patenting that reveals that pat patents created by mixed gender teams are the most highly cited. Um, the other important point is that technology permeates all areas of knowledge. So when we think about the way we communicate, we collaborate to get work done, we learn, we entertain, everything, a technology is a, a great piece of it. And it actually shapes how we are doing those things. So we are shaping, through technology, we are shaping how society is, um, you know, is building things. And we feel that it's really important to have the best possible teams to create this, this technology pieces so we can, we can extend the possibilities. We can enable people to do even more and to do better. Um, the other important point is that just for the U.S. market, and, and I'm saying that because I don't have data for the rest of Latin America, but just for the U.S. market, uh, in 2018, we expect to have nearly 1.4 new million new job openings in IT. Um, and we have a pipeline issue in general, but if we don't um, address half of the talent pool, this is going to become a very serious issue. So, What's going on in Latin America? Since 2008, we've been working with thought leaders uh, across the region to understand what is the status of women in technology. The first step we did was trying to gather data to understand um, what is uh, the women representation in the IT sector, um, how is the pipeline uh, and in terms of undergrad and grad programs in CS and so on. And that was a really challenging issue uh, for a variety of reasons. If you consider a single country, um, some universities in the Roman forum, they don't even have a field for gender. So it's virtually impossible to get very precise data. And when you think about all the countries together, 
then the issues uh, that emerge are even more, uh, even harder to consolidate. Uh, but we notice in the several meetings we held that there was the same trend that we observed in the other geographies. So um, people report that 20 or 30 years ago, they had about 40% at least of women in technology, and now they have between 20 and 10%. Um, We've been collaborating with leading organizations like the National Center for Women in Technology to discuss best practices and actions that work in other geographies as well. And, but we, we felt that we need to understand what is appropriate to each of the reasons. And for that, and to bring more people into the discussion, and for that last year, we had uh, a group of researchers submitting pilot projects uh, proposing actions uh, to address these issues in their, in their um, geographies. And, and today, they are here to discuss their pilot projects and to present what they proposed. So we have Lorena Gomez from Tech Monterrey, uh, from Mexico. We have Eduardo Fredina Camura from uh, Federal University of Amazonas in Brazil, and Jose Tiberio Hernandez from University of Los Andes in <laughs> Colombia. And now they're gonna to talk to you about the projects they um, proposed. So, Lorena, please. Okay, the, good afternoon. Um, the project that I submitted was titled Attract and Keep Students in Information Technology, Making IT Fun. And, uh, um, when we're thinking about uh, the number of female students in our, in our university, it's about 10 to 15 percent. And also we uh, found that every time we have less and less students in the computer science field. And one thing that we observe is that dropout in girls is not common at uh, Monterey Tech in particular, the female students were in the top of the 10% best students. And we can also hear the needs from the industry. And what they say is that they need more IT professional. Doesn't matter the, the gender. So the projects uh, it will increase, will try to increase the number of the students in computer science both male and female, and if we get more students, we were gonna get more females. And the other point, important point is that the students get uh, job offers before graduation, and that's also a problem for our graduate programs because we wanna encourage students to go and study a master or a PhD, but they prefer go and earn money. So that's also a, a problem for us. And well, the idea here is we need to attract and keep students in information technology in, in both genders. And uh, the project uh, proposal had two parts. One is the workshops. Um, we propose some different workshops, one in, in um, making video games uh, with Kinect, with Windows Phone. Uh, another was magic behind the screen and uh, playing with data. At the, time, at the same time, we were trying to do this workshop. Uh, we found that the students on, at Monterey Tech had one workshop that is called Mini Robotics for Kids. So we start observing what the result they have in this uh, project. The other part of the project was to do a web, uh, website or social site where we have interviews like a day in the life of a software engineer, uh, IT consultant, students, interviews with successful people, both uh, men and women, uh, give the students the statistics like today, this year, the software engineering being the best job, and webinars from successful IT people, especially women. And um, we start with um, Mini Robotics for Kids. This is a project that uh, it attracts uh, uh, for students that are 10 to 14 year old. They have a session, um, four session during the semester, uh, four hour sessions, 12 of them. And what they do is uh, design a robot, assembly a robot, code test, and the, at the end they do the sumo bot competition. And the important thing is here the instructor as students 
students who are major in computer science, robotics, or electrical engineering, and they don't charge for these uh, um, for these courses. And they do these courses in the university. They have like Saturdays in the morning, Saturdays uh, afternoon, Fridays, and also we have the incubators at uh, Tech de Monterrey where they go to a small um, um, element, um, junior high schools and they teach these students. And the final project is the SumaBot competition. And uh, what they do uh, during the whole uh, semester, they start uh, learning how to do the programs, the logic of, uh, about behind uh, the using of sensors and uh, reactions from the uh, robots. They design the build. The objective is that they have to, to win. Uh, the last day, they give them the box. They already have the design, so they have to assemble the, the robot. And they, ha they have time to, to review the code and test. And uh, at the end, uh, they have uh, a fight. And here we have all the family members coming to the competition. And this is very important because, in, in, at least in Mexico, parents uh, have a role, an important role in the decision that the students make, especially girls. You know, they tell you, why do you want to study engineering? Why don't you study something more women related? So here we talk to the, to the moms and we explain to, to the parents uh, the importance uh, and all the opportunities that the, the kids and both boys and girls have in going into these um, careers. And here is uh, uh, the end, the end of the, the competition, uh, like a group. And they have the, the robots fa uh, fighting. And here it's, uh, they have also the small brothers and sisters, and big brothers and big sisters. And it, they have a lot of fun in this um, project. And finally, uh, they were like uh, six different classrooms. And in each classroom, they have uh, one group that who is the winner, and they went for the final. In the final, they have to explain how they build the robot, why they build it in that way, and what they learned. And at the end, they gave the, the, the there was a winner for, for all of this. So um, these are some numbers that uh, the, this program that we think is very successful. It started in uh, 12, 2007 with only three instructors and 12 students. And now they have 120 instructors and about 380 students. So as we see the numbers, uh, we think this is really uh, a big number of uh, the increasing of the students who are interested in, in this area. So that's why we want to um, do this also not only in robotics, but also in programming and other areas in IT. And um, well, I, I think I'm missing one slide where I ask this, well, it doesn't show right, but uh, we have about 20% girls and 80% boys. And at the end, we ask them, will you study something related with IT? And at the same, and, and at that time, they answer for us, 90% of the kids uh, said they will study a career in computer science or related field. And well, we hope that is right, so we can get these kids in four or five years. And what is the next step? We are going to continue working with uh, workshops with the, uh, the students and involving other technologies like touch screens monitors. Uh, we are going to continue uh, to build a social network side with these uh, students. And we would like to hear also from you what other ideas you have. And also I have here my email if you have any, any ideas you want to share with us. Thank you. Thank you, Lorena.
Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, the idea here so is to talk about this proposal we have submitted to Microsoft Research to try to bring, uh, basically to bring awareness of this gender issue to the north region of Brazil. So the, the truth is that in our region, we still do not talk about that uh, a lot. So it, it's all new for us. And we don't have, uh, as we discussed it with Juliana, we don't have enough data to be assertive in which strategy will be more effective and, and things like that. But uh, what we have initially, we, we, we could reach some numbers of our technological courses, basically on computer science, computer engineering, information systems. And what we have is, for computer engineering, the entrance is about 12% of the, the, the people that is getting to the, the course are, are women, and the dropout is 40%, 14%. So 14% of the dropouts are female. Computer science things are more uh, even. So we have 16% of uh, women getting into the, 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 the computer science, and then 16% of them, uh, of the dropouts are female. Uh, in information systems is a, a pretty new course we have in, in our institute, and so we still have a few data about that, that course. But the entrance level, it's, it's a, a little more interesting. It's 20% of people looking for that course are women but the dropout level is still too high, 36%. Uh, although in, in percentage, th this is uh, a high number, well, still have only four women uh, giving up the, the course. Uh, so uh, why, why should we, we try to, to why, why should we engage on this uh, gender issue? Well, if you look for the official census in the North region uh, in Brazil, 50% of the population are female, so uh, it's, it's, it's very unbalanced uh, if you look for the percentage of women in this in the society and in computer science or computer related fields. We have only 12 to 20% of women looking for those careers, for those courses. Uh, and it's something that is very interesting that it's more critical in our region it's that we have a lot of local uh, job opportunities. We have a, an industrial park with uh, about 600 enterprises, most of them in the electronics, computing, and also in, in motorcycle fields. But uh, in, the, in, in all fields, they, they, they all have jobs for computer scientists, for computer-related uh, professionals. And uh, we have half a million jobs in that region because of the industrial park only because of the industrial park and three business incubators and the, 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 the truth is uh, when we look for the job distribution we don't have the, 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 the accurate numbers but what happens is the high profile jobs usually are for male uh, usually are for men and some of them are locals from from Manaus and Several of them are from other states, several of them are from other countries, for instance, from Korea, from Japan, U.S. And what happens is that most of the low-profile jobs are occupied by females and uh, all of them from our region, local ones. Uh, so w I think we, we should try to, to move uh, towards changing that reality and, and, and look for a better balance. Uh, what this strategy we, we are planning to, to, to have? Well, uh, we, as I said before, we need to, to have a better understanding of the issue in our region. So uh, our history, uh, historical uh, aspects, cultural, economical, all, all, them, all of them contribute to that issue and are different from other regions in Brazil. What are we planning to do is well, we have two objectives at this moment. The first one is to gather the information, to understand what, what's our reality. But while we are doing that, uh, I, th I think we, we should try to bring awareness uh, at the same time. So let's bring the discussion to our community uh, to, to bring this awareness too. And the, the way to do that, we are going to, to have some speaker series. and. What we, we like to do is to bring not, not only women, but men also that are aware of, of that situation, especially from the region and from the country too. 
Uh, and uh, one thing that 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 w we it's very clear for us is that uh, women want to, to 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 hear about what is a what what is the life of a successful woman in, in technology and that perception is different from the man perception of successful i mean the man when he gets into the university he thinks that being successful is being rich he have a high profile job and when he leaves uh, uh, he leaves the, the university it's the same and when i talk to uh, graduate students female graduate students it's very clear to me that su the success successful woman profession it's the one uh, that has reached the balance between the job and the family and the, the social uh, life too and so it's uh, a little different so i think we should bring that to our discussion as well uh, so our, our objective to 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 have this this uh, this general lens, landscape of our our region and the gender diversity and try after we, we have this clear or clear at least clear uh, uh, view of the landscape which we are going to try to change it while we're doing that we will do the, the speaker series as well so we plan to do some group meet, meetings every two months to, to assess the project status and define the next steps the speaker series we we are going to be every four months so someone bring someone to, to talk about uh, the issue uh, and in the end of the year we plan to have a workshop that is open to the local community academia and industry to, to, to bring this broader discussion and uh, I, I think we can have a, a good success that given that uh, some leading uh, persons in, in the region are our women so I, I think they will be engaged in this discussion too uh, what we expect to deliver is to, to have this comprehensive report to, 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 to provide the landscape of the gender issue in the North uh, region uh, and have a work plan that it's um, for a long-term uh, action, how we, we tackle this issue, how we can improve and bring more balance to, to the gender uh, distribution in our region, and also to, to define what would be our strategy to get fi uh, uh, financial support for, for that strategy. Okay. In, uh, in, in Colombia, the, the, the concerns are more or less the same. And uh, I think they will. I will go faster. Um, uh, we are in, the, in Bogota, in the capital of Colombia. And our uh, main concern is to, to discover and understand the reason why the participation of women is uh, di diminishing. Um, the, the society needs the more balanced and performance uh, teams in order to uh, produce the design and, and deployment of the system that will change the society. Um, uh, only for the context, uh, Bogotá is almost 7 million people city, uh, and Colombia is 46 million. Our university is a medium-sized uh, top university, uh, research-oriented. And uh, this is the, the, the main trends that I want to show you. In general, the... the <clears throat> the population of students in computing related area in Colombia is more or less 45, 50,000 students. And you can see the, the, the trends of uh, male and female participation in the, in the stock of students, if I can speak about. And the, the, the trend is a, at, the, at the country level is a so, so, social trend 
of uh, diminishing the participation of women and uh, happily at the same time uh, uh, the, the, the global uh, amount of students are growing slightly. In the University of Los Andes is, is more dramatic. Maybe we are the, 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 the leading institution in this way, but it's my, this is a statistical data from 2000 to now, and it's my memory. In 1990, uh, we, we had more or less 45% of women participation. Uh, in, the, in the students in general, in undergraduate and graduate students. And right now, in very system, systematic way, uh, we find that we arrive to 12% to of, uh, of a stock and the, the fresh students are uh, a little bit less as 11%. Hmm? On the trend, we, we are very concerned, we work a lot, but the trend is more or less the same. Our actions are not very successful. And for this reason, we are doing uh, some uh, more detailed surveys, uh, trying to understand the approach and the mood of the uh, kids of uh, 12, uh, 14 years old, as in Monterrey, uh, in order to, to understand uh, how to, to communicate. This is the very broad uh, survey in one open day that we held in, in, uh, in uh, our engineering school. And this is the, the career preference for men, with the uh, main questions. And uh, only I won't show the, the, the difference, qualitative difference between this, um, this uh, expression of interest of, of men and this more uh, variety of, uh, of the preference of women without the details. But, but it, it, I think that this is a qualitative difference. And uh, the general the is uh, our uh, prejudice about the thinking of, of the kids. And we find that the uh, our uh, expectation was not good enough and the uh, opinion of the kids are different than our prejudice as professors. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the, main, the main result is that the, the, the young people don't know which is the computing professional are doing in his professional life or in the, this action in the society. Maybe the media, maybe the informatics teachers in the high schools, maybe we don't understand, we are working on it. But men and female is the, the very uh, strong opinion about the lack of uh, information before to take the decision. For this reason, for example, the action as uh, Monterrey is taking is, is interesting. Uh, for, for this reason, we are doing uh, uh, maybe, maybe we have no internet here. I'm not sure. Well, uh, we, we are doing a, a contest among the students about to uh, call, uh, call for proposal to how to communicate with the young people in the school. Don't are the students of the university of all the discipline uh, that will uh, propose us how to uh, communicate with the young people hmm, in more effective uh, way. And uh, this, this, um, this is the, 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 the contest is launched right now, this week, and the selection of winner will be uh, done in September 21 with uh, some little cash prizes, but uh, we are waiting for for a good uh, participation rate. And uh, one of the main um, incentive is to, to, to the commitment of the institution to go ahead 
with the project uh, selected. And uh, one of the main results of this uh, uh, partnership with, uh, with Microsoft Research is the, the institutional commitment with this uh, initiative of Women in Computing uh, the, with uh, uh, cash uh, matching funds in order to go ahead in this, in this direction. And uh, we are expecting to, to have more um, commitment uh, in our alliance with the enterprise in order to use in the good sense of, of uh, word the, um, the power of the communication of the enterprise in the media to the society, the publicity and the general presence in the media and the social networks and so on, uh, the, 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 the message in the, in the image of computing in the society, we have there, uh, there excuse me, a, a very interesting tool uh, to go with more uh, power uh, in the communication to the whole society. Uh, I think that is all. Thank you. So um, I'm going to open it up for questions in a minute. But before we do that, I'd like to hear from them. Is it working? Yeah. Um, I'd like to ask a couple of questions. So. I know as researchers, you guys are super busy uh, managing research projects, writing papers, uh, having administrative roles at your department and so on, and yet you took the time to apply to this um, call for projects and you are carrying it out. So I'd like each of you to briefly describe why is this important to you personally. Do you want to start, Jose? Uh, <laughs> okay, you know, because you have interference. Okay. Uh, the, um, my, my personal concern with this uh, subject is uh, 10 years old when I w was in, in other responsibilities. And um, I, I think truly. Uh, deeply that the, this is not a, a gender issue, it's a society use, issue because of the, the pertinence and the orientation of the computing projects in the next generation need the, the participation of, of women. And uh, we should and we maybe we must work in order to, to try to to arrive to this uh, participation. This is my personal position. Excellent. Lorena? Well, uh, I applied because I already was doing something in the, in the area. Uh, me, as a woman in, in computer science, when I studied, we were uh, many girls in my group. And now I see my students, and I only have one or two. And I think there is a lot of uh, opportunities for both men, men and, and women, and I want me because I'm happy with what I am doing. And I said, why don't people want to come and do the same thing I'm, I am doing? So I, this, it is good for the country. It is good for them. So that's why I say, why, why don't you come and, and study the same uh, uh, area? I mean, it's a, a, a good opportunity. There are many applications, and uh, so that's why I, I apply. Great, Eduardo. Uh, well, something that happens, as I said in my brief presentation, is that we have so many uh, possible good jobs in the region, and we are, we are not, I mean, the local ones, not only the women, but uh, also men, we are not occupying these positions, and especially women. And as a professor, as an educator, I like to think uh, that I am an educator too, not only a scientist. Uh, uh, I think that we have to match uh, the, 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 what, the, what are the demands we have in the, in the market and what we can provide. I mean, uh, we, we must 
provide a good workforce for the industry. But most of all, we also need to give opportunity to our society to have a good, uh, a good job, to have a good uh, uh, growing in their, in their professional careers. So what we see is this very unbalanced situation, and I think that if we, if we try to discuss that and if we put some effort on that, we can change, at least change a little and, and improve that balance in, in our region too. Great, great. So um, we've been discussing for a year now, back and forth about this topic. And one of the things that emerged over and over is that it's a very challenging topic, right, for everybody. And, and um, it's likely that the impact of the project is gonna be uh, limited to our local communities and to a, a small group of, or even to our local universities. And yet we chose to do that because we believe it is important. If you can um, say what is your number one goal in two years or one or two years from now, if you reach that goal, you feel your project will be successful, what would that be? You want to get started, Jose? Okay. Um. Well, the, 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 the main goal is to, to, to reverse the trend that I show you, uh, not necessarily re have a, a top results, but the, the trend is very, very difficult. And um, the true goal is to have the commitment of the industry to work together with the academy. It's not a problem of the university, it's the problem of the society and the industry is uh, very, very important stakeholders, and we uh, should and we maybe must work together. Okay, Lorena? It's a budget and budget and action. Well, I want to see in a few years if all the kids that answer yes, I'm gonna study something related with the computer, we are gonna do following up with this uh, uh, kids and one thing that I want to mention is that this program is for three they have three courses uh, for robotics robotics one robotics two and three and the students who finish the three courses now are the instructors for the new generation so I want to I want to see more students uh, coming on the on these uh, free weekends they have and doing something uh, productive and not uh, playing around or doing other things that we don't like them to do, like uh, drugs and things like that. So I would like to, to communicate with I these kids and show all the things that successful IT people are doing so they have role models and they can do something similar to that. I think there is a, a big opportunity for, for our country to, in, to go in that direction. Thank you, Eduardo. Uh, for sure, the long-term objective or the long-term goal is, is to change that, that landscape we have. Uh, in, the, in the short term, I think that our, we, we are more modest in the sense that what we want is to, to bring the awareness, what we want is to bring the discussion to our community and start uh, very slowly, but give the first step to change that landscape. And uh, when, when you say that, we, it's, it's because we, we strongly believe that when we have this balance, the, this gender balance, uh, both the genders are, are, are take some benefit from that. Uh, the truth is, when the environment is balanced, we have women, we have a, a more, uh, not hu women friendly, but more human friendly environment. When I went to the university, I, in my electrical engineering course, we were 65 people. Only five of them were women. So uh, I must say that it was not human friendly. I mean, when you have only men and only engineers in the same environment, it's not very pleasant uh, a place to, 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 to take time. So what, what we want is to, to really to bring this, this uh, diversity in discussion and give the first step towards uh, changing this, this landscape. And that's a very important point. And recently I was um, responding a survey about um, the, the question was, what 
is the benefit that should be given to women in, in this company um, to make it a better place for women? And I, my response was, we need to give a benefit that is good for families. We need to make it a better place for families so we can change the culture. Otherwise, it's not going to be a good place for people in general. So I absolutely agree. So if you guys, we have time for a few questions from the audience. So if you guys have any questions. Claudia, do you have any questions? Yes, do. Okay, so what struck me in Eduardo's presentation was the, the difference between uh, your data about your studies in, in, in your region, the northern region, and data from uh, the southeast and south of Brazil, especially in, in the state of Sao Paulo, where uh, recent studies show that we have almost zero dropouts in information technology courses and 5 to 10 percent uh, women as it and it used to be 45 percent so if we have this much difference in brazil in different regions in brazil uh, i suspect you'd have the same thing in in mexico and colombia and venezuela and in all the other countries so uh, how can we approach uh, this kind of, of problem uh, would, would, for instance, ro your robotics experience apply to other areas in, in Mexico, or do you think that this would be a uni kind of a universal experiment? So this is a mixed question. A question to all of you about regional differences within a country and across regions. And the second, specific for robotics, do you think you can, I can import it? In, in Brazil, and Eduardo can import it, and he can import it. Can we all import your, your experiment to attract more, more kids to IT-related careers? Uh, <coughs> this, this experiment in, in robotics, I put it because it uh, started a long time ago. And it has good numbers. We don't have the numbers between boys and girls, but I know there are more boys than girls. And because robotics is more uh, um, boy thing. However, we see girls interested in that. And uh, what I think it like them is that they can touch things. They can uh, see things that they produce. So uh, moving this into other areas like uh, um, probably video games or, you know, now with the touch screen and all these uh, um, visualization things that we can do with, uh, with the programs, I think will uh, um, encourage more um, the kids to do something, you know, not that they are going, only going to do games or whatever, but uh, we teach them the logic. And uh, with that, uh, they can th feel it's not like very hard that they can they can do it uh, they can uh, you know we um, by doing small things we started uh, to teach them the logic because sometimes they say no I don't study that it's very difficult it's not for me I'm not good uh, so we can change that you you can do it if you, if you understand it it's like with math you know if you don't like it you are gonna have a tr uh, problem with that all your life but if you explained and if you um, and understand the logic, it will be very easy for you. So that's, uh, I don't know if I... Oh, I think, yeah, it, it, you know, it's, uh, it, it, I think we can, I don't know if you have done something with, uh, uh, with kids at this, 
at this age, uh, 12, 13 years old. But we think that when you, because we have these courses, uh, this workshop for, for high school students, but by that time they already took, made a decision. So it's, it's hard. So now it's, uh, you know, you start at the earlier age. And also the thing is that uh, because they have computers, they, they think they know everything. And they think that uh, using Word is uh, it's, uh, computer science. And it's not like that. It's, you know, you have to do, to, you have to write the programs, and you still have many things to learn. Jose, do you want to take the other part of the question? And Eduardo, if you have comments as well. OK. The, um, I think that the, 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 the main goal of, of this uh, meeting is to share the first the concern and, and second the possibilities to share our experience uh, for example in our fresh it's too late in our fresh uh, student uh, course we we are uh, doing some uh, mobile computing workshops that the students uh, build a, a mobile application that is very 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 fun for 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 them and the um, audiovisual production with uh, some tools uh, in in immersive way a very different uh, interaction experience and we are uh, the last year we did a workshop with the high school uh, students but high school students is too late hmm? we, we should I, I am agree we should focusing in 12, maybe 12 years old is too late, but life is hard uh, because the challenge is, is enormous. Maybe we should um, articulate with the STEM, uh, STEM efforts, the science, technology, engineering, and, and mathematics efforts in the, in the basic and medium uh, education system that I think that we have this kind of experience uh, almost in, in every country. And we find some uh, common activities that we can do because, because the scale is enormous. It's not only for for our uh, environment and our preferred high school. Maybe we can the power to go there, but the, for the societies, it's, it's a huge, uh, a huge uh, challenge. Do you want to comment, Eduardo? Yeah, yeah. I think, Claudia, one thing that happens is that because Brazil is so big, so large, what we have actually is that uh, our culture in the north is a little different from uh, the south, from the southeast, and, and so on. And uh, I think that there are some approaches that, that can work, for instance, the, 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 this workshop. It's something that might work even in our region because we are given the opportunity to people to know that, that, that specific field and see if they like. But uh, what we have to do is to respect the, those cultural differences. So there are some strategies that would be better for us and won't work for, for, for the South and, so, and vice versa. Uh, one thing that's very, very clear to me, I, I don't know if it's universal, or if it's Brazil-wise or only the North region, but it's that, uh, it's, uh, as Juliana talked, uh, we have to focus on the, the family aspect. I mean, in the past, in the past, in Brazil at least, the men had to, to do all the job and all the money think, and the women, women were responsible for raising the kids and so on. Uh, what I'm saying is that I don't want to be that successful guy because I, I simply love to s spend time with my kids. So I want to share that responsibility with my wife. She has to be also successful in her job so I can sp spend my, more time with my kids. And I think that one thing that we should focus on is trying to, to, to show men how good it is to, to partake in family and show women that if we share those responsibilities, we, we, we are going to, to have a good time. And, and just to comment as well, we've been doing this for about, since 2008. 
And we tried to collect data exactly with the goal to understand what is the picture. We have a snapshot of how, what is the status of women in technology in the region and in each country, how it's distributed and so on. And that was, pr that was super challenging. And you participated in this effort a lot with me. And, and you've been doing something really cool, which is the WIT uh, workshop at the Brazilian Society, um, Computing Society uh, Conference which I think build awareness. But what we decided last year, and what, that was one of the reasons to invite Eduardo, is that w we need to start building awareness where, you know, where people didn't start talking about the topic yet. Because if we bring awareness, like maybe people are gonna take um, ownership and do something, like there is a great group of girls at Unicamp, and they run the, the, their program themselves. They go, like the girls from the, Vanessa Testoni, electrical engineering. So they actually invited me as a speaker, they invited you as a speaker, and they invite a bunch of people. So they took ownership, and they do it themselves. I feel that's more scalable and that's more appropriate because they, they find what is appropriate to their regions. We've been talking, when, when we invited NCWIT to many of our meetings to discuss best practices, like mentoring, I feel strongly about mentoring as a very powerful tool, but that's not part of our culture. It's not something that we typically do. I feel like it's important to address the undergrad um, as much as it is important to attract new talent because we lose talent um, as much as we miss new talent to, you know, to, to come into to computing. So women leave the industry at twice the rate as men. That's a very big deal. So I think, um, you know, having this type, you, you, <laughs> I lost track because you distracted me. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, yeah, she's controlling time for me on my behalf. So, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, but I feel it's a str I feel like what is appropriate in each of the the locations and in each of the programs is something that the people internally have more the ability to decide than we can do broadly with a recommendation. So that was it. So as Claudia told me, we should wrap up. Thanks for keeping track of the time. And thank you all for coming. And, um, and I hope you continue this discussion in each of your regions. So thank you.